Well, howdy, people. We're back with uh, Trevor's uh, Harvester project again. Um, okay, I've, I've decided to do a little bit of experimenting, uh, just down to the fact that I wasn't having much success with it. And I didn't want to upset Trevor or let him down. I mean, bless him, he sent me this. Uh, anyway, here's the deal. Um, what I've done is I've removed a, the rechargeable battery from, uh, from across the two battery terminals here. And uh, in its place, uh, you can see these crocodile clips and whatnot, I've actually put um, a, uh, uh, a capacitator. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to get you a little bit, uh, a little bit more dialed in on this. So we've got a black and a red crocodile clip. We've got a, uh, an electrolytic capacitor, uh, which I have literally just shorted out with this. In fact, let's do it again. Uh, I'll do it again in a second when you can see the meter. Um, just so, we can see what kind of uh, maximum voltage, uh, ambient maximum voltage we're getting from local uh, radiation and uh, uh, radio waves. So right now, you can see the flute meter, we're about 2.4, sorry, 0.24 of a volt. So this is obviously why we're not gonna be able to charge a um, 1.2 volt cell. Um, because in my area, the ambient radiation, I think, probably went up to about 0.283, something like that. So I'll just go ahead and short that out so you can see I'm not lying. Here we go. There's the short across the capacitor. Went down to zero volts. And now the ambient radiation or the ambient radio waves in, in this area here are charging that electrolytic capacitor. And we will see its maximum voltage in just a couple of minutes. Okay, so there we go. So you seem to have settled out at about uh, 0 0.24, 0 0.25 volts DC, uh, obviously. <laughs> and um, yeah, so the electrolytic seems to have settled out at about that kind of voltage, which ultimately means um, that, uh, that we're not gonna be able to charge a 1.2 volt um, battery. So, uh, unfortunately, that's a bit of a shame. So, um, we'll have to work on this harvesting side of things and see if we can find a way to make that work a little bit better. Um, I can rub and touch antennas and stuff and nothing seems to change very much. Uh, what I can do is I can just do a very brief transmission uh, from this handheld device here. Boom. There you go, there's a brief transmission from the handheld and you can see um, we definitely harvested <laughs> quite a, quite a, a peak of, uh, of, of, uh, of power there. So, um, and now you can see that's backing off back to its quiescent level to its uh, surrounding sort of uh, local levels, which again will be 0.24 of a volt. So Trevor, unfortunately for me, this particular circuit um, it doesn't work with the radio signals with my local uh, radio signals in this area here Now maybe if I put up a bigger antenna got it higher up in the air um, Maybe uh, if somebody installed some power lines above my house uh, We'd be in a much better position, but yeah, you can see the voltage is still dropping away there Anyway, um, I'm gonna put this well I'm, I'm not I haven't finished with this uh, project yet. I just want to quickly show you uh, It's gonna remove the capacitor from this and what we're going to do is plug in a uh, a battery that's uh, pre-charged and uh, we're going to transfer let's get rid of the meter here we don't really need the meter anymore oops making the right old mess here we'll pull the aerial out actually don't need that aerial in that location anyway because that's the harvesting location uh, so let's just fit this antenna into the radio section and here it is all right we've got the ground up here this is the ground just make sure that's connected yeah that's connected right that's all in place now apparently if we turn this on here we should in theory yeah, and there it is. We have a functioning radio. So, just to show you. 
Rogers has told this program he never thought he'd be home for Christmas. Nick Dunn was arrested in 2013 while working on a ship trying to combat piracy in the Indian Ocean. He didn't think the appeal would come so soon. Figures are taken by BBC Radio Wales for the last 13 years over the last four years. Yeah, there we go then. So, Trevor's radio works. Sorry, this is <laughs> this is the um, the microphone that I'm using. By the way, uh, it's a little tight clip mic. Anyway, Trevor's radio works just fine. Um, it's the harvesting section that doesn't work in my particular area, uh, and may or may not work in your area. So uh, that's that one put to bed. What I've got for my next project, which I think you're going to enjoy, I have bought off of uh, the wonderful world of eBay. Da, 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 da. I'm going to zoom you in a little bit. <laughs> no, it's not crystal meth. Um, I have bought some uh, some cat's whiskers crystals. Um, and I plan, there you go, those are the little cat's whiskers there. Let's just get those in the center of frame for you. And the idea is that one of these little crystals here has this bit of coily, springy bit of metal that I can't hang on to because my hands are too cold and shaking. Um, that there will create effectively a detector diode which will allow us to listen to radio free of charge using a capacitator, a coil of wire and uh, a, another little headphone. So that's the next project. Uh, see you soon.